hi. Oh, hi, Gail. How are you? I'm good, Mandy. How are you? I'm good. We can shift gears a little bit while we wait for Dr. Ismail. Gail, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Okay. <laughs> good to be here. So, Gail, we can talk today a little bit about our health and wellness segment that we are going to talk about. Um, it's about perfection and how one can deal with perfection with their health and wellness. So can you give us a little bit of insight into what you tell your clients about when you get to the topic of perfection and some of those um, things that they might try to work into their health and wellness diet? Yes, so uh, we have as human beings in the world that we live in this um, idea that there is a perfect way to do whatever it is um, better than we're doing ourselves. And we always kind of look at that other way as um, almost why the heck can't I um, achieve my goals? I know what I'm supposed to do. Why can't I just do it? Shame on me. What's wrong with me? All of these negative kinds of um, self-talk, right? And the world around us doesn't help it very much in, in suggesting that there are right and wrong ways to do something. So when you think about um, what it is that you want for yourself, start to notice uh, the positivity or the negativity that you talk to yourself with. And the positivity um, is more about what you want to do. The negativity is what you're trying to stop doing. So when you have this idea, I wish I could just stop eating those sweets in the middle of the day, or, you know, having all of the bread at dinner, or whatever, or, you know, going to the workout, and I wish I could stop getting tired so fast. When you catch yourself thinking in this way, number one, ask yourself, how is it working for you? Does it help to kind of scold yourself a little bit? Or maybe in that moment, try something different and ask yourself, what is it you'd like to start doing instead of what is it that you'd like to stop doing? And see if you can um, make a change that feels better to you. Um, and then those other negative, gosh, why can't I stop eating those sweets at three o'clock? If I'm focused on having a nice lunch, maybe the sweets will just kind of drift off and you don't even notice it. But it feels much different to focus on something you want to do rather than something you don't want to do, excuse me. And Gail, with that po the power of positive thinking, um, really when it comes to anything in life that people are dealing with, um, with your clients, the power of positive thinking, what are some of the things that you tell your clients that are either keywords or something that you see helps them when they're trying to figure out positive ways of looking at their health and wellness? Um, well, the first thing I, I suggest, or when we're talking, the person you know finds to be very helpful for themselves, is number one, stopping and thinking just for a moment. Uh, when you have that negative, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just do what I'm supposed to do? Uh, or stop eating those certain foods. Uh, just stop and think for a moment. And in that moment, ask yourself, uh, what su successes you've had. So mindfulness is a big one. Uh, the second one is thinking about why you feel that that one thing is the magic thing that will change everything if only you would do it. Uh, sometimes that comes from looking around and comparing ourselves to the messaging that's in the world. Sometimes it's comparing ourselves to our, our old selves. Sometimes it's comparing ourselves to the people around us or what works for other people. So think of yourself. So first of all, think of how's it working for you? Does it feel right? Um, and has it worked in the past? And if the answer is no, think about what it is that you want for yourself instead of thinking about other influencers and influences that are not helping you get where you wanna go. And Gail, when we talk about health and wellness, um, accomplishments and failures are something that are very prevalent in the diet culture as well as in the fitness culture. Um, can you talk a little bit about when, what your clients and other people that you talk to about health and wellness, those conversations that you have about accomplishments and failures and how they can balance those in their lives? Yeah. So um, again, a lot of times we want to flip a switch and we believe we know what it is that we want to do. I keep moving because I see the glare in my glasses. I'm sorry, I keep doing this. No, you're good. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, you know, 
I lost my train of thought, Maddie. I lost my train of thought. Oh no. You're good. Accomplishments and failures and how you can help clients. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So accomplishments and failures. Um, you know, be a little kinder to yourself. Think of small things that you want to accomplish. Uh, you know, a lot of times when we feel like we fail is when we flip a switch and we try and go from what we're doing today, all inclusive, and start doing something different tomorrow, right? Eat different amounts, different foods, uh, exercise regimen. And oftentimes those really big uh, decisions to start and stop all inclusively kind of mess us up a little bit. So think small. I try to think small and pick one thing uh, that maybe has worked for you in the past or one thing that you want to try that's positive moving forward and see how that goes and stick with it for a little while. Um, accomplishments build up over time as opposed to happening all at once, at least the real meaningful ones. It takes some time. So give yourself that time and give yourself the permission to take that time to experiment a little bit um, and see what you can come up with. And then after uh, a period of time, call it a few months, you look back and you're like, gosh, you know what? I feel like those two things are now more natural and I'm not even trying that hard anymore. So maybe it's time for another small thing and here's how it's helping me. And Gail, for our viewers who are interested in learning about how you can help them talk about perfection and their goals in health and wellness, can you tell our viewers how they can contact you and also work with you through Gazelle Health? Sure. So uh, I have a website. You can go check that out. It's coachgale at dot, uh, dot com. And my name is spelled G-A-Y-L-E. So it's coachgale.com. You can peruse there. You can also message me through that website and uh, I will quickly answer you. Uh, you can give me a call or text me at 248-885-1400. Um, and I would encourage you to, you know, that first step for a lot of people is very, very challenging. It's scary, it's uncertain, maybe you're afraid of the conversation and what it might be like, but trust yourself. If you feel like uh, I might be somebody good to talk to, give it a try. There's no strings attached. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to hear what you have to say and see how we could work together. Or if I think that there's a better avenue that I could suggest that you might be more ready for, I'm happy to recommend that as well. So give me a call. Well, Gail, it's such a pleasure having you on on Tuesday mornings to share your health and wellness expertise with us. So we so appreciate you joining us. Thanks always. It's nice to be here Tuesday mornings. Have a great day, Maddie. Thanks, you too, Gail.